Greetings, folks. This is the Foxier Falcor from Gearbest. This is a high quality FPV camera. Uh, the code is the HS1216. It's a 1200 TV line, 169 aspect ratio, 43 aspect ratio switchable, NTSC or PAL switchable. Uh, it comes with a 1.8 millimeter lens uh, or a 2.5 millimeter. Has a wide input voltage, uh, 5 to 40 volts has V battery sensing. It doesn't have really low light sensing, so it's not really a night camera. Perfectly good for day and evening. Uh, it has slightly longer latency than the best of the FPV cameras, but that's uh, absolutely immaterial for flying fixed wing and uh, anything but race quads. So let's open it up and have a look. Nice little black box. There's a guarantee card. Here's the camera. It comes in four different colours. This is the black version with a lovely big 1.8mm lens. Proper M12 lens. I like that. It's a full size casing. There is a mini version available as well, I think. Global wide dynamic range. Uh, here's the voltage, ground, video and V sensing. That's the battery sensing and ground and OSD for that other plug there. And cool little symbol there for the Falcor. Global wide dynamic range is something that you find on the Runcam Eagle, uh, the top of the range CCD FPV cameras. What else do we get? There's the instruction manual, Falcor, Falcor, Falcor Micro. And what else do we get? We get some goodies. This sort of mount, uh, so it's a sort of a tilting mount, which I really like, they work well. Little OSD setup keypad, and a couple of different sorts of cables, nuts and bolts for the mount, and the OSD. All right, so plugging into the camera, we have red voltage, black ground, yellow video signal, and this uh, pinky purpley one is the battery sensing or voltage sensing. Very good. Let's just clip it off and solder it up now. So I've done my usual connection, which is just a three-pin DuPont connection. A video transmitter there, powered by the battery here. I'll plug it in. And there we go, we've got the name, the battery sensing voltage and the time there. Uh, colours look very nice. Wide dynamic range is being handled well. Looking at the lights, not blowing anything out. Doing a very nice job. I think this will be a great camera. Okay, so let's plug the on screen display selector in and see what changes we can do. And I will push the center button. Oh, there we get the menu up there. Auto exposure gives us brightness, wide dynamic range, backlight, whatever they are. Wide dynamic range is what it was set on, I'll leave it at that. Advanced, you get shutter control and gain control. Let's return white balance, auto white balance or manual white balance. We'll just leave it on auto. Day night setting image enhance. Contrast sharpness, colour gain, noise reduction. Sharpness, I uh, might just leave it on auto actually. Can go to manual and play with the values there if you want super sharpness. Ew, that gets pretty terrible. We'll drop the sharpness down. I'll leave it on auto, I think. Color gain, noise reduction, video setting. I uh, can change the PAL or NTSC there. Special settings, 169 or 43 aspect ratio. That's 43. I want 169 for my setup. Name. Uh, I can turn the name on and off, I might turn it off. Voltage, I'll leave that on. And timer, I don't want the timer. It looks as if you can't move them around the screen, but uh, we'll see. Image style, sunny, cloudy, indoor, sunset. I'll leave it on sunny, seeing I'm usually flying in sun. Language, reset, save and exit. Let's save and exit. Now, I wonder if I can move that voltage around. Push and hold the bottom. No, it doesn't look like we can make any changes like that, it's only the center button that makes the changes. Okay, well that's fine. Voltage down there is fine with me. Ok, 
Colours look good. Wide dynamic range looks good. Looks like a decent camera. It's a bit cheaper than the Runcam Eagle, Eagle 2. Doesn't quite have the adjustability maybe, but uh, the picture looks good as it is. Okay, let's go and fly. I've mounted the Fox EFL core on the nose of my Ranger 1600. Great plane for just cruising around. Glassy calm here. A little bit of breeze coming up the slope, so we may get some lift off there. But anyway, we'll go for a fly around and see how this camera performs. I think it's going to be awesome. Oh, that looks good. What a beautiful wide-angle view. This is the 1.8mm lens, super wide-angle view. What a beautiful day. Look at that calm water. Coming back along the slope. Turn the motor off and glide a bit, eh? Gorgeous. Spectacular view for this sort of flying, just cruising around with fixed wing. Still gliding. Let's see if we can glide back. I doubt it. There's no wind at all, really. A little breeze, but oh, this would be great for FPV slope soaring, if there's any wind. Hopefully it'll pop up a bit and I'll be able to do some, but what a brilliant view. Still gliding, doing alright. Alright, power up and go for a fly. Golf course over there, animal health labs over there, salt farm uh, over behind that. That's Point Henry going out there to what used to be the Alcoa uh, aluminium refinery but it's not there anymore. Look at that beautiful sky, glassy water, beautiful colours, beautiful blue, beautiful greens, great detail, magnificent. This area here, which is a great slope soaring site in North Eastley, used to be a uh, gun club, like a clay target shooting or trap shooting gun club, and they used to shoot uh, targets out over the water and shoot them with lead shot, which was deemed to be no longer environmentally <laughs> responsible. So they regenerated it, made it part of the park, and now it's a brilliant slope soaring site. Aren't we lucky? So I'm loving this camera. Beautiful, super wide angle view. Not too over sharpened. It's a bit grainy in the darker spots, maybe. Uh, maybe we could adjust some noise reduction or something like that. It's just gliding now. Well, if there's any wind at all, I could just slope saw here all day. This is beautiful. Foxy of Felcor. Ah, see those uh, gaps in the cliff down below. I'll go back and have another look. This is great. I can <laughs> give you a guided tour of the history of Geelong. These are lime burning kilns. No, I'll have to get on the way back. Right, right down below us now. Uh, in the early foundation days of Geelong, uh, they used to collect shell grit and uh, burn it in these lime kilns. That's why this is called Lime Burners Point. Where are we? There they are, straight ahead there behind that big tree. You can see two sort of dark uh, caves going into the into the bank there. They're old lime burning kilns. This is beautiful. So you'd think of this camera is, uh, as a competitor to the Runcam Eagle, I guess. It has that global wide dynamic range, but it, it's a lot more subtle than the Eagle. It doesn't have the jaggy edges as much. It doesn't have the aggressive global wide dynamic range, which makes it a more uh, photographic sort of image, I suppose. 
beautiful for this sort of cruising around, enjoying the scenery. Perfect camera for me. This is beautiful. I'm loving it. Cruising along the slope. If there's any wind, we'd be able to hang up here. This is the wide angle view. You can see the slope, which is what you need when you're FPV slope soaring. Is the cockies up above me? They're not too happy about the old <laughs> Ranger 1600. They think it's a threat. All right, let's bring it into land. Someone's been doing a bit of circle work down there, trying to be artistic. Fantastic. What a great camera. Love it. So there's the Foxy Falcor. What a beautiful camera this is. Super wide angle view, 1.8mm lens, which I really like for uh, FPV slope soaring. Really nice global wide dynamic range that's a bit more subtle than the uh, Runcam Eagle, which I really like as well. Digital artifacts from sharpening don't seem to be as bad as the uh, Runcam Eagle. So Foxy Falcor, awesome camera. Highly recommended for me for FPV slope soaring, cruising around FPV thermaling, it would be fantastic for as well. Highly recommended. Thanks for watching. I'm going flying again.